Have you ever seen a cow giving birth? <laughs> <No>. and shut up! <laughs> Hello and welcome to another episode of Delight in the Sea. I'm your host, Dalton Chance, here with Caldoon. Oh, shit. Landon Caldoon. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. Keep that in. Keep that in, motherfucker. <laughs> Gabriel Ifrael. Hi. Cool. Uh... Braylon Valpy. Hello. Richley is not appearing tonight. She is possibly getting murdered. We're not sure. She's off the grid. She's running from the We replaced her. So we got a replacement. Don't worry. It looks slightly... We got you a slightly similar puppy. Meet Taylor. Landon. You guys just heard a really great recap, scripted and recorded by me, Dalton, the host. These guys didn't. They heard the awful recap, not scripted, but also delivered by me, Dalton, the host, with the most. <laughs> I introduced. Don't them worry, already. the racism was cut out from the recording. If you, you do think- not recognize the characters in the water. If you think, man, this episode is freaking Brodsky. Really unprofessional. <laughs> I don't like him putting chemicals in the water. The turtle oh, fucking frogs. Yeah. You know, this episode feels like. Frogs really always turn gay. Unprofessional. It's like the lions. Uh, it, it seems really unprofessional. That's because it is. We're doing this on not scheduled time, <laughs> off company time. Over time, they don't get paid. Dalton. It's all mine. Dalton, can you, Dalton, can you structure the recaps in the same way that uh, something witty <laughs> structures their, uh, uh, what are oh, they called, uh, the... progress reports? <laughs> yeah. Can you, can you please do that? <laughs> okay. I can help you write for those. That's a good idea. Actually. I think there's another one that I haven't read yet. I need to read it. But well, probably. As said before. We have a special guest. We have Taylor. Say hi, Taylor. Hello. It's Taylor. Taylor is here. Richley is not. Richley's in the water. What? Richley's uh, probably Richley you know, I recognize the Richley in the water. <laughs> this might be sure <clears> Richley is drowning in an un... Wait, what is it? We're late. We're not late. Time's linear. Fuck my ball Wait, no, dick. Is... Wait, it's time... Wait. Time's relative. We're not late. You're early. That's how that works. Yeah. Yep. I've never made a mistake. Everyone. Listen wrong. So we begin where we left off. Um, The rat's dead. Rapika is now drowning in an indescribable emptiness. No, 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 no. So for this uh, this session, (laughs) I will say that the character of a posse is just so in the throes of grief that they can't really interact with them. She that, that fucking like, hibernates. <laughs> Still be doing stuff because you need all the help you can get. But, um, sure. Don't expect a whole lot of interaction because I don't do PCs. I just do <laughs> hate crimes. Anyway, when we last left what? off, um, <laughs> so you guys, uh, Tatui is dead, and you guys have just killed two old women. Resume scene. Um, I guess we have to take Tatooie's corpse. What do you do with Tatooie's corpse? Isn't Where that else like do you put corpses? Don't... Isn't that? Uh, let's say a posse takes it because yeah. you know a posse will put it in the bag. Long the bag of corpses. The corpse bag. And it's very dis- it's very like concerning because this is like the the most calm and quiet you've ever seen a posse just like silently put the corpse in the bag and sling the bag over their shoulders. Definitely not because uh, the one envisioning her isn't here right now or anything. No. Uh, definitely not. Shut the fuck up. Be quiet. Don't talk. Don't break the floor of the wall. Oh, meow. Shut up. Alright, bear back. Yeah, that last long. You gonna go take your kneecaps? Yeah. 
I'm gonna go get those kneecaps. Anyway. <clears throat> Let's see. Valvi, you would still be in half wolf form, as would I think everyone actually. Well not everyone is in half wolf form. <laughs> no, everyone who has the capability to turn into a wolf is in half wolf form, I believe. There we go. I changed the status again. Letting you guys see I'm all doing, the future I'm doing content. Some goofy ass shit in Destiny right now. Mm, don't talk about it. Yeah. Please try it, okay? In Look. in PvP, I am using a bow that has a draw time of three and a half seconds. Look, hey, hey, Lennon, it's 2023. It's a al you're allowed to be into Destiny, but we don't want to hear about how how into Destiny you are. I'm not into Destiny at all. I I'm forced to play this. Destiny show. Anyway. Born to Jelk, forced to play competitive. The fog begins to clear. The sp the I was gonna say the smell clears up, but then I remember there's just two corpses in front of you, so no, the smell does not clear up at all. Uh, and Kodon begins violently vomiting because he just ate a small child's head. Isn't it like not a small child, but rather it would be maybe a lot more unhealthy. Yeah. The, unhealthy. The, the small child's corpse. I, I don't know if I mentioned it. They return to the old woman form, and he has begun vomiting out. Just a bunch of vomit and blood and bones of where he ate this head off of this neck. He's wasting all the good bits. And he will transform. He will get smaller and smaller until he is back to his normal size. I'm... Hey, doll. Oh, do I say Okay. Can I look around the house? Are there, like, any matches or anything in the house? Yeah, there's, like, um... They're, like, a little, like, uh, flint rock, uh, flint locks. <laughs> not flint locks, not... <laughs> flint rocks? There's some flint? <laughs> there's some flint. Small, small pieces of flint that you assume. Because there is, like, a, a, bul a bulbling cauldron with a fire under it. Uh, near the okay. center of the house. So you assume that this is, you know... They've got some wood, they've got some I, farm supplies. I assume everyone is outside of the house now, right? Uh, for the most part, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna light the house on fire. Okay. <laughs> As you... <laughs> okay. Cool. Um... <laughs> Okay, that all you just get you're not gonna look around at all, you're just gonna set it on fire. Uh actually, thank you for telling me that. <laughs> I am going to look around the house and see if I can find anything regarding that little girl oh, that we were looking for. Investigation. Well, investigation, okay. Do, 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 do. Yeah, the quote unquote little girl. That was a real little girl that you were looking for. Did you forget the one you thought you ate or you might have eaten? Okay. I don't know. <laughs> I know nothing. What did you I am just I, I rolled a nine minus three, which is a six. <laughs> so is, I is the smell the smell I'm, a smelly smell? I'm just gonna assume there's nothing and burn the house down. Okay, cool. Okay, well um Taylor, I would like you to make a strength check for me. <laughs> Just kidding. Taylor, your character a while back was, well, you were on a research trip traveling through these this woods. You are currently in a glass bottle on this shelf, and you see this small creature walk in and begin setting this house on fire that you are stuck in. <laughs> what do you wish to do? <laughs> Can I scream? <laughs> All strength for your do. lungs. Which one? Which dice is that? Which lung? <laughs> which lung? <laughs> which lung which am I screaming at him today? <laughs> but, you know what? You're pretty which small. Dice? You probably got small lungs. Gabe, roll perception to see if you notice the screaming. <laughs> But it's like how small dogs bark really loudly. Perception, perception, perception. No. <laughs> <laughs> I rolled in that one. <laughs> you don't. Because. You guys walk out. Because I have. 
Honestly, can I try and manage to get out of the out of the bottle? Yes, make a strength check. Which dice is that? I've been asking. That would just be a d20. 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 Just click All the, checks are d20s. Just click the uh, your strength modifier. The little plus one you have. I rolled a 11. <laughs> you know, it's just a glass ball. All that's enough to where you kind of like flop up and you knock the glass over and it shatters on the floor. <laughs> Do I notice it? <laughs> you know what? You I the perception. <laughs> no, I'll just use the one for it. You don't notice this at all, man. Okay. You're so bad at perceiving things. <laughs> I rolled a two. <laughs> Fucking that oh, one. That, that was like your second roll of the session. We are starting off killing it. Gabe, your luck will never cease to amaze me. <laughs> More like the absence of luck. So, okay, so I confess, uh, because I don't remember exactly who made this this uh, this uh, homebrew race. Being out of the water of the bottle, would that just immediately turn her back into a? It was me. Into her normal size. No. Okay. Just a dry. Just a dry off. Then you are still a shrimp on the ground in a burning house. She a fucking sea monkey? What? <laughs> No, Taylor's a shrimp, and, I, and she's really and small. So she's thin. Find inches. something to dry off. <laughs> Let's see. Um, what a shrimp. <laughs> not to be that guy. Can I crawl? There's... Yeah, you can crawl. Hey, not no, to that she guy. has to flop like a fish. Uh, <laughs> not to not be that guy, but like <laughs> there is plenty of fire around. <laughs> <laughs> I think she would have dried off very easily. That's a good point. Right, the shrimp for dinner. It's closer, and you do dry off, and you transform back into your still incredibly small form. Describe your character real quick. Okay, well, let me pull it up. This I have her right here, actually. <laughs> okay, she uh, she has bright red hair. She has fire red hair. It's very long. It's very messy. Um, she has solid light pink eyes. One could say no very pupils. flammable. No pupils. She wears um, like steampunk goggles, like those mechan like goggles. <laughs> uh, she wears <laughs> um, a brown type of like a uh, bodysuit corset of some sort. A with a skirt o with a skirt over top of it that's also like a brownish gray color and then a bunch of belts uh wrapped around her waist and her chest with a bunch of gold embellishments on them because I can uh and then this huge brown chest plate across uh one of uh I want to say her left chest uh left side of her chest and she's wearing a off the shoulder very roughly uh, sleep shirt thing <laughs> and no <laughs> shoes. She wears no shoes, <laughs> and she's currently in a very flammable, very burning building. I am. Hey, Dalton. Yes. Uh, I can assume that I don't notice a anything. Any mm. like new people appear in the room. I just think her hair is like more fire, right? I I guess so. <laughs> I want to say her. I want to say her okay. hair is the color of fire. Yes. Um, <laughs> she as well fire as, red. Um, another interesting thing to add as well. Um, she has um, as what uh, Bray and Richley have been calling it a um, a vagina nagger, uh, like dagger across what her. <laughs> A what? A what? Right, right. explain. Explain right. yourself. Context. <laughs> what have you done? What has science wrought? This is what Richley, that's what Richley calls it, but she just has a dagger on her thigh. Yeah, it's a dagger. <laughs> anyway. Well, that's staying in. <laughs> Anyway, Isla? and she, but also she, um, her name is Isla. Isla. So you said this is and a jagger, right? 
<laughs> this is the best part. But um, she she also has a uh, very tan skin in her human form. She has very tan skin. When she's a shrimp, she's and, blue. And when she's a shrimp, she's blue. But um, and she also has a little uh tooth, uh, a little snaggle tooth that hangs out of her mouth. No, it hangs to and fro. Is it? Is she? <laughs> oh, is she? As well is she... as I forgot, I forgot to mention this as well. She has these long blue antennas that reach the bottom to her feet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So <laughs> was that whole thing was that whole thing her describing your character? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> she did a bad job I had enough time to beauty. deal with my cat. My cat was fucking lodging a complaint in my feet asking for more water. Oh wait, did you not hear about the burning <laughs> building? I did. Okay, yeah, then that was all the Yeah. <laughs> That's what you're supposed to do when you when I ask you to explain your character, not just he's big. He's got a sword. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, you're welcome. I guess like I did 90%. it right. That's like ninety percent of his personality. <laughs> I guess I did it right. <laughs> Good job. Anyway, you're currently in a flaming cottage. Yeah. <laughs> Good luck. Um, <laughs> also, I try and find a way to escape. Yeah, there's a. You do notice. Because you were because you were in the bottle, you were actually privileged privi privy to the whole fight. You do remember when a, a dark haired man just stiff as a board launched himself through a window. And there's also like uh, <laughs> there's also a door to your right, but you know, that's less interesting. Yeah, I'd rather go through the window. <laughs> also, I think she's very adventurous. Game, game. I remember the, the way you described how if I like is seeing things makes me think that like she lit the fire and has just been staring at it and just ignoring the person. Yeah, yeah she has. That's exactly she what has she does. Yeah, I that sounds like, about right. Even with the I'm fine. She's too short to be noticed. Yeah, I mean she's. It's because seven, you have red so. hair, so I just think you're more fire. Well, yeah, that's. True as well. I mean, you're only like a foot <laughs> shorter than I am. That would actually be but what also, she fucking does. But the interesting thing, though, is is the fact that as well, uh, my character loves uh, chaos and explosives. <laughs> cool. So, so you attempt to um, escape through the window. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Make a dexterity roll for me. Which one is that? That's dexterity. D20. So you see on your character sheet. Yeah, Braylon? <laughs> when you become a Don't robot, fall. this is what you do. I rolled a 13. Good enough. It's just jumping out of a window. So you leap out this window. Do I notice that, like, part of the fire has leapt out of the window? Sure. <laughs> Can I follow the fire to make sure that the fire stays in the house and doesn't burn the surroundings? You don't need to ask. You. Sure, you can do that, I guess. <laughs> oh, sorry. I, I was just in the habit of asking questions. Okay, I'm gonna do that. Okay. You leave the house. To follow I'm the going body. to jump out of the window after her. Make a dexterity check. <laughs> Hang on, where's my... Oh, right. Uh, do, 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 do. Hey, Dalton, I have a question. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is enough, because you're just jumping through a window. It does not have, like, a typical... <laughs> Jesus, <man. laughs> You're not jumping through a DC twenty one plate iron window. You're it's just glass. It's it's a broken glass. It's not even a, like a intact window. Like I'm in armor. This isn't going to damage me. Yeah, you just leap through the window. Um, do you fall on top of Isla? Let's. I'm. Let me think. With that incredibly terrible dexterity roll. Okay, please, do something about that, because I cannot understand what you were saying. You're in the phantom zone, my friend. 
Um, Taylor, please make a dexterity saving throw. Three. Oh, yeah. Uh, a very heavy armored figure <laughs> falls on top of you. <laughs> oh, that's nice. <laughs> you just go face first. Good luck to Isla, I guess. <clears throat> well, let's see. I have fallen on top of what I assume to be a fire running away from the other fire. <laughs> and now... This fire is solid, not like normal fire. So I can assume this isn't any normal fire. This is a I think this, this is, is magic fire. This is walking, talking, <laughs> like sentient fire. Like, for the record, the rest of you can hear and see this. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna like pick her up, right, and just like set her on her feet. <laughs> Okay. And uh, brush her off and see if she is okay <laughs> after that. I'm going to say that in response to that, Isla would literally just look up and be like, what the hell? <laughs> Ephrael, you're, you're used to this kind of reaction. You're just not used to seeing it from this angle. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna be I'm just gonna keep watch to make sure that uh, nothing spontaneously combusts because I still think she's fire I mean she can uh, she loves explosives <laughs> cool. she could just pull out a nuke at any moment and just like <laughs> For the record, I do I do think your hair is on fire just because it's the color of fire, so I'm gonna like pat your hair a lot to try and put it out. <laughs> I would like for everyone to roll perception checks for me. Including me? Uh sure. Because <laughs> you're trying to perceive a different I'm going thing. to guess that's D20. Okay. Yes. Hey Dalton, I have a question. I have a question, I Dalton. Rolled a one. <laughs> Dalton, I rolled a two. <laughs> <laughs> I got twelve. I'm only gonna roll this for one of them because I know one of them doesn't give. So a if, were... if you want, you can go to your and then you can click perception. Just click that for it, Great. and you won't have to add your stuff. Okay, Caldoon, you're the only one who can perceive and hear uh, the sounds of screaming from inside the burning house. Um, it sounds like that of a small child, if you had to wager. Calden. Wait, question, am I supposed to be adding these to my character, like when I roll or something? Um, there are certain things that you can do. Uh, you do have your character sheet pulled out, right? Yes. So add your bonuses to whatever rolls you get. Yeah, normally you're rolling a d20, and whatever bonus is on there, you just add that to your nat roll. Like, for this, uh, perform- or I rolled performance, actually. Oh, whatever, it's the same thing. It's the same bonus. But, uh, they're both plus one. But I rolled a nat two, and I added a one to that, so I got a three for this roll. So that's how it works. Braylon, you are a robot. <laughs> Yeah, that was a dex check. Oh, wow, we have somebody who rolls as bad as I do. <laughs> cool. Yeah, I had one. <laughs> okay, Berlin, please. Leave and rejoin. <laughs> For all that is holy. Does Leave and rejoin better? the channel. Uh, a little bit. Anyway, back to the plot. Caldoon! Is my internet... Yes. You hear the screaming. You're the one who can perceive this. You're the one who rolled high enough. You can hear the, uh, what sounds like the screaming of a small child in the burning house. You know, I don't think I would care about that. <laughs> yeah, I figured. Because I don't care about the missing child very much. Yeah, I figured. And the problem is the only other person who rolled high enough was Kodan, who also definitely doesn't care. <laughs> So, yeah, none of you perceive. 
and this child burns to death. <laughs> Jesus God. What a way to start the campaign. <laughs> I look around for this child, roll like shit, don't see it. <laughs> Exit the house, the child starts screaming, roll like shit, don't hear it. <laughs> the only people who hear it don't care, the kid dies. <laughs> okay. Oh my god! <laughs> Braylon is flabbergasted right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! This is awful. What a sad state of affairs. Wait, hold on. I, I have... No wait. <laughs> 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 Possibility. I'll roll for a posse. Oh. Please. Oh, posse. oh my god. <laughs> posse does notice. And she is. But she doesn't. She doesn't react. She doesn't interact. Because Tatooie is dead, and that's all that matters. The only characters who have rolled high enough to notice are the ones who don't care. <laughs> So, <laughs> the child is dead. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I accidentally killed a kid. The fire begins to uh, is spreading, and eventually the house just kind of goes like it, it erupts in flames, like beyond the normal spread. You assume that some weird chemicals they had in there got caught alight, and now it's fully burning down, and the screams go silent. <laughs> Finally. I do have a Got legitimate me. reason for burning down the house, by the way. And that is because um, a lot of bad Can shit took right? place there, and no. Ephrael knows and Ephrael knows that uh, uh, people who make blood sacrifices or the houses of people who make yeah? Wait, wait. I just you roll. can re roll. Hold up, I'm you're a werewolf. You have advantage on perception checks that involve hearing. I just remembered. Alright. Oh my god. Roll Braylon. that perception check, Braylon. She did! Check it was high one. enough! It was high enough? It was wait, was it high enough? I can't see where she rolled. Yeah, I can't either. I just see the Aposse roll. Sad. What What do you mean? Why are you sad? Check the snat one. <laughs> oh. That is still not enough. I only go by my. It was so close, though. Four rolls. <laughs> Wow! <laughs> oh my god! See, which is everyone. She is repeatedly the rolling perception checks and has the, and has rolled exclusively seven sixes and fours. She has plus three to it too. I just probably got a fourteen. <laughs> Hang on, I gotta try this. There you go. Then that twenty. <laughs> yeah. Well. Nah. You wasted that luck. You, gotta... you should have saved that for later. <laughs> uh, she just rolled a bunch of like. Oh, me? She, she didn't roll. Yeah. A, yeah, Braylon, you did not roll above a seven for like eight to nine rolls in a row, and then you just roll a nat twenty. <laughs> okay. It's too late. The house goes up in smoke. Oh my god. <laughs> Somber moment. For no! Not really any of you, honestly. <laughs> it would be a somber moment if you if the ones that cared knew, but the ones that cared don't. I feel like my character would care, but I don't. You can't I, do I didn't much really about it. I don't. I didn't. Re I can't really do much about it because uh, someone's literally uh, turning my head down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm gonna go grab some water and like pour it on her head to try to get the fire off the quote unquote fire. <laughs> That's gonna be even worse. Oh, 
worse. Yes. <laughs> you do this that. This is going to make me turn into a shrimp. And it, the figure, into a tiny shrimp. <laughs> <laughs> do I see the shrimp? Or do I just think she disappeared and that no, I, and that I think it was a shrimp? Yeah, you can see me. I'm tall enough still for you to see me. <laughs> you fucking was. step on her and she dies. <laughs> you fucking step on her and she dies. <laughs> That one. I like, you fall I into the mud. <laughs> if I'll be totally. You, 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 <laughs> as you pour this water, the fire goes out. <laughs> uh, all right, job's done. I'm gonna head back to the group now. <laughs> when I be able to scream <laughs> or something <laughs> for them to notice me. Sure. <laughs> Can I do something for them to notice me? Oh, wow. Something. You be in shrimp form. Very high pitched. Product very, of very high squeak. pitched. But I'm not going to demonstrate. Melfi, you like like a dog. You just get, hear this terrible, awful, like just this, just a super awful resonance of noise that just drills into your ear and me and compels you and it's coming from the side of the house of the now burning house <laughs> and so would Kodan and Lucian but they don't give a shit god two nat ones already <laughs> both on the same check yeah uh <laughs> Mm. Apologies. No need to apologize. <laughs> Killing kids is awesome. <laughs> Melfi? I'm going to do something. Okay. <laughs> can do something drastic. If you're speaking, we can't hear you. This hoodie makes me want to do something crazy. This hoodie makes me want to walk into a mall and do some crazy shit. No. This hoodie got me fucked up. Can you shut up? Jesus Christ. <laughs> You've repeated the same no joke three times. Not the ear piercing screaming. I know I did. Uh. Anyone. Sure. Uh. Since... Braylon's having some technical difficulties at the moment. Um, as you're screaming, a man will walk around, and he is pretty... T he's decently tall. He looks huge to you, because you're less than a foot... T you're like, ten inches long or something like that. How, how big are you? Ten inches tall. Ten inches tall. Uh, he has, like, shoulder-length black hair, and his face is scarred up. And he reaches down for you and grabs you. And he holds you up. And he goes... Yeah, that's edible. <laughs> I didn't know they had oh, it man. in this place. Hello? You're back. Wow. Did you want to do something? Then? Kind of like Braylon, maybe Delphi do something. I'm going to, like, About cover my like ears and... You don't even hear my joke about Lucian thinking it was me. I'm upset now. Yeah, we didn't hear it. Kyle looks to you, to you guys and says, Hey, a shrimp normally, like, this color, and also they normally live in swamps. And if they do, no. can I eat them? I'm just gonna look at him and be like, Are you stupid? They do not live... No. Mm. Well. You should have gaslit him. Only one way to find <laughs> out. <laughs> Meanwhile, the strip is, I assume, begging for mercy and or crying. Literally. Um, I want to say she I does something to, like, maybe she finds something, or maybe, like, she finally, like, dries off or something, and it just, she just, like, pops out of nowhere. <laughs> As he's lowering you into his mouth, you just expand into this full-size being, which is not a full-size <laughs> being, it's still a pretty small being, and this fall on top of him. Wait, 
wait, wait, I have a question. She's the size of a human child, right? Roughly, yeah. Yes. Would that would that activate Kodon's uh, uh, murder tendencies? His pitiful <laughs> instincts. <laughs> no, Kodon is. is looking- I want to say. I want to say that after she lands on them, she's like, "What the hell?" Like she just screams. Like she's screaming and yelling because she's like. I've never met people this most dumbest ever. <laughs> this most dumbest ever. <laughs> yes. mm. I have a horrible grammar, sorry. <laughs> he looks at you and he like looks up and down and looks at your, your antenna and just goes, Oh, well, I just went from a sack to a meal. I'm still hungry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You've been upgraded from snack to meal. <laughs> That old lady was disgusting tasting. Need something to wash that down. <laughs> Can she please, like, try to run? <laughs> like, sure. get up and run. Run. <laughs> you can run, but you can't like she, tries... find you. like, she tries to get up, get up and run, and then maybe, like, she runs into one of the characters. Like, she rams into one of them. Hey Dalton, which character does she ram into? Let me roll for that. <laughs> Is it the one in full steel plate? <laughs> like slams her whole body just into the- No, she runs into Khaldun actually. Which is oh. all she's <laughs> You sprint and you get a face full of this like incredibly tall man. You could have uh, bad, bad wording. Like, bad wording. Her head, Fun like, bag, looked, bag. She slowly lifts her head up and she just like in fear just looks at him and he's just like, sorry. <laughs> okay, so you look up past his dick and then you see <laughs> small creature. <laughs> What are you doing here? I don't know, please. Don't hurt me. I assume <laughs> she's still tiny. Yes. No, she's also, she's always three seven. Dalton, what in the three seven? Dalton, why is your camera, is your camera <laughs> turning into a bathroom? You look like a fucking <laughs> You look like a Radiohead album. <laughs> You look like you just got Thanos snapped. You look like you one look of those like a... mosaics I'd find in like an art exhibition. Like you look like a Radiohead album, dude. You look like the bottom of a pool. <laughs> <laughs> I have never been like what the fuck, man. Why? You, you have got to be fucking kidding me. What? All right, where I forgot where we were. What? Hold on. <laughs> I've been taking bags. screenshots. What? I'm gonna pick up this small fucking creature. Okay. Because it doesn't seem harm- harmful. But yeah, she loves explosives. That's fine. That, I love crack. And <laughs> <laughs> so, did you watch the first episode? The pilot? Partially. I, I, I sunk into the depths below and met God through <laughs> drugs. Through <laughs> drugs. Completely naked, by the way. Starting the trend of me getting naked in the middle of battle. Oh my god. Anyways. What the fuck? I'm sorry. I had to see what I looked like. What the fuck? Yeah, no, that looked... <laughs> it is so bad. So oh, like, what did I do? Because my camera's fine to me. Are you, are you recording, like, your... Okay, put an image of you in the in the fucking VOD. It's so no. bad. <laughs> it's like it looks like a fucking watchdogs trailer, dude. <laughs> <laughs> dude it's so it sucks, dude. It it's so blurry. blurry. Oh my god, that's hilarious. Alright. Anyway. anyway. Oh, it suddenly went back to normal. <laughs> A- a- anyway, <laughs> oh, and it's and it's deteriorating again. Oh, there it goes. 
The simulation is breaking down. I was so confused. I was like, is that the shirt? Did I do something wrong? Because I look fine. <laughs> no. Oh, no, he's back. <laughs> Tile Man is back <laughs> with a vengeance. Oh, my God. Oh, what the fuck? Okay, we need on. like. We need to somehow get... screen share. Like, we need to figure out how to put our cameras on, because we need to. <laughs> we need can, to we get, can we get get Tile Man shirts? No, you better edit those photos into the the campaign. Yes, yeah, please, Jesus Christ! <laughs> Just a seven pixel Dalton. Okay. Uh, anyway, <laughs> uh, <clears throat> I, I pick up this shrimp looking thing. I don't know. It looks, like a, it looks like one of those. Uh, hold on. What are those fish called? A mud skipper. Uh, no, the uh, the tetra fish or whatever they're called. I assume she looks similar to a tetra fish. Tetrad core. I can send you what I can actually just post what what they look like. What she looks like. I'll oh. Post in... <laughs> the, I'll post the orange. <laughs> Wait, we have art? Oh, sweet. Oh, we have art. art. Oh, God. Oh, you did make art of this. I did. I did. I I was talking. I was talking. Yeah, I was talking to Taylor. Then say a name. (laughs) Editor, aka me, in the future, put that art up. Look at that art. It's art. That right there is art. Oh, my God. It's art. It's art. Oh, my goodness. It's art. On my social media. (laughs) Every time. Because I. I'm not surprised. Gabe, every time you say that, so I'm just gonna zoom in. It's okay, art. so I. Dude, look, I it's art. Art, 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 it's art, art. Oh my god, look at that art. It's I, so I assume good. you're it's currently so in shrimp form. Oh man, that, that is like um, such good oh, art. Oh no, she's out of shrimp form by now. Uh, <laughs> That's okay. art right there. Taylor, Oof. the player and the artist in the description l- links to the Do I... stuff. <laughs> Dalton. Yo. Do I One even need to? Do I need? Do I even need to be insulted to roll strength to pick this thing no, up? No, no, no. Yeah, I'm all very, right. Very small. No, I'm, I'm double your barely. height. I'm I'm pretty much double your height. Yeah, and I weigh barely anything. And have a strength of twenty. I mean, if I'm correct, she wears. Er, she wears. She weighs like forty something pounds. Oh she yeah, no, I didn't wear. That's like an eighth of my carry weight. All right. <clears throat> how do I check my carry weight? I can pick you up like an item and put you in my inventory. This is just Landon, the, uh, how do I check carry it's weight? It's like a couple of grapes meme. <laughs> you know, you know how to pick things up in Resident Evil 4? It's just like that. Like you just oh, smash it yeah, and this. put it in your pocket. <laughs> it's a very I look to this creature, th- I look up to this small goblin and I say, Do you want uppies, little one? <laughs> <laughs> No. Man, it's everyone's favorite time. <laughs> Dad Dune. <laughs> Dad Dune. <laughs> and this is what Isla would say. Isla, I feel like, would be like either very angrily say yes because she wants to be able to face to face talk, or she would say <laughs> no and try to move and try to escape. Like finagle you, her way out of his grip. Can you make one of those like baby carrying things that moms wear on their sh- on their chests <laughs> to like walk around <laughs> with their baby, so you can actually converse with people at eye height? <laughs> yes, please do this. I wish we. Had, you, that's called? your choice, not mine. I I You're would the, so like because like by the time if like uh, the characters like get more. Um, like accommodated with each other, that would be something. Definitely, she would. You're the, you're you're the artificer here. That's your job. Yeah, I think she might create that. Okay. Uh, for now, I'm just gonna uh, cause since I don't fucking know who you are, I'm just gonna grab you by the scruff of your neck. <laughs> like a kitten. Yeah, <laughs> like a, yeah, like a, like a kitten. Yeah. Caldoon grabs Kyla by the scruff of the neck and holds her aloft like a baby kitten. At at around six foot height, so that she can actually feel tall. <laughs> oh, uh, all of a sudden she just hears, oh, no! the same thing. <laughs> Everything the light touches oh. is our kingdom. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Do you wish to be my world? <laughs> I sort of I like I I sort of eye her up and down, and I just say, "What is your name?" Isla. Isla, you are small, frail. <laughs> How did you live until this point? At this point, I don't know. I do not know either. Let us go. <laughs> Oh, by the way, Dalton, I rolled I rolled an investigation check just to see if I realize the next Wait. time I see her that she isn't fire, and I rolled a negative one. Wait. <laughs> Wait. Idea. What if I put Isla in the goo? <laughs> what would happen? Don't put me in the goo, please. Do you put, do you put Isla in the goo? No, not yet. Okay. Uh, that oh, day will no, come. Yeah. <laughs> the day will come. The day of reckoning will come. <laughs> if she does something to uh, to anger you, you can put her in the goo. <laughs> yes, yeah, so you can have an out of body experience and meet God. Just and wait, out. but it's so much worse because you have a jar of goo that she would fit in, so she would just swim around yeah, in it. Hey, Dalton, I have a question for you. <laughs> I put her in there and she just sinks to the bottom instantly. <laughs> but not, not swimming around, just at the bottom, motionless, eyes <laughs> wide, pupils, yeah, and covering her entire primary eyes. Colors. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Shrimp can see more colors than man can. Oh, no. <laughs> the acid trip's gonna be worse. <laughs> You ha you can see more of the color spectrum. <laughs> the goo might be my favorite thing in this case. Hey Dalton, I have I have a question. Where exactly is everyone like right now? Because I went back to like the main group after I <laughs> extinguished her. Okay. Wait, <laughs> hold on. While Mantis Shrimp perceive the world through twelve channels of color and can detect UV and <clears throat> polarized light. Aspects of light humans can't access with the naked eye. Yeah. Yes. They see beyond. They see why beyond. do I want to? Why do I want to say that um, Isla then proceeds to like be like, "Can you put me down now?" No. Okay. So a quick run. And maybe really. not by a scruff. A posse is morning. Would you Velocity prefer? Back. Would you prefer me to grab your clothes instead? Please. Is All right, I switch my grip. <laughs> in my mind, he like, like he would, like with a bag. I want to say that he's I like, I like her. Yeah, I like. Why do I want to say that he carries, like, carries her like through the entire process? He's just. Yeah. Like, no, I like just, toss yeah. you. Up, I to <laughs> I toss you up into the air slightly and switch my hand to be underhanded instead of overhanded, and grab you by your by your clothes. Yeah, and she's just like hanging there. She's just once you once you get back to the main group, she's just like hanging there. She's just like everyone probably looks at her and she's like, "I, <laughs> I didn't extinguish you." Hang on, I need to go get more water. I have found I a child. Why, I don't know why, but I'm imagining you holding her like the Grinch, you know, like the Grinch hands. <laughs> the Grinch. <laughs> uh. Uh, do I do I see you on Caldu? Yes. <gasps> yes. Uh, hang on. Uh, I, I forgot your name, big guy. Watch out! That fire's right on you, dude. Get, get that, and I'm gonna like pat her really. I'm gonna pat her down so much, and I'm gonna grab more water. <laughs> her and then her being like, "Please don't grab more water." Do you I'm going to grab more water. Can I like? Karate chop. El uh, I was about to say Elfelt. Ephrael's head <laughs> to like sort of try and get her out of her daze. Make a strength check. You know the meme. All right. You know the meme of the guy going. Oh, that's a nat one. <laughs> that's, what, that's what she's making. <laughs> let, me, oh, let me roll damage real quick. Damage. Oh, I can do that. It's six anyway. Yep. <laughs> you bring your hand down. And you just hear crunch as your bones kind of crunch against the metal helmet. <laughs> Wait, wouldn't it be critical miss, though? 
Yes, yeah, that's, why I hurt taking, myself. that's why he's taking damage. Oh, I thought he would be hitting uh, Tay's character, or Taylor's character. No. No. <laughs> oh. Yours. Not In the head. I, I thought a critical miss was friendly fire, like you hit it's, another target. Yes, I am, I am considered or, or friendly. Himself. If I can decide, like, it depends on which one makes more sense at the time. <laughs> Since he, he's holding her, uh, her with one hand and the other hand's being used, it, it's a little too far away to, like, lie. Like, it's not like he's going down and then, hop. With the curve. <laughs> and Khaldun gets sure. off his signature curveball. Beating children. <laughs> anyway. I'm not a child. Anyway, look closer. This is not fire, this is a child. It's a meal. Come on, easily, mis- easily mistaken. <laughs> I, I, I'm gonna like abruptly stop patting her. I'm going to. I'm also gonna like back away slightly, and I'm going. I'm to not think. a child. <laughs> Isla says, "I'm not a child. I'm 17." <laughs> I can see how you could mistake this thing as fire, in the same way that you could mistake a chihuahua as a burning inferno. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna like take a re- hey. I'm gonna take a really close look at her. <clears throat> oh, her, her how could he disappeared? Like right? solid pink eyes staring back at you. <laughs> I'm gonna be like, oh, me? well, if she isn't and fire, then why'd she disappear when I poured water on her? <laughs> I do not you know. Wait, what? Shrimp, Wait, you idiot. I, I, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to test this? <laughs> No, I do. I kind of do. <laughs> now I'm in her. I definitely do. Come on, throws water. Is on. there, is there water nearby? You're in a swamp. Yeah, dude. Just drop her. Can I drop, drop her into the water? <laughs> See, look what you've done now. Look what you've done. You drop her. Do you know the? Do you know the line of the like? What would it be, Mister Bond? Who would you be, Mr. Bond? Get your nails clipped or perish in the river below. The river below. <laughs> you drop. It's um, exactly that. And she falls, <clears throat> and as soon as she hits the water, she transforms into a small shrimp. Huh. See? Wait, hang on. Do, I, I have to roll perception again to see if I can see her. Don't be just pointing and like, is it edible? Hey, guess who doesn't see her? I rolled a four. This creature amuses Literally, me. I will look out to it. Where did she go? I'm not edible. Cut on this creature amuses this. It's snack size again. Cut hey, on. this creature amuses me. I shall keep. It. <laughs> where where did she go? She just disappeared again. Did you just did you just adopt her? Is Do this I your child? Bottle on hand. Caldoon's now adopted me. I believe we're that as kidnapping, but sure. Do I have an empty bottle on hand? Do you? Don't put me in a bottle. Don't put me in a bottle. No, no more bottles. No more bottles. Don't worry. Me. Don't worry. You get one vacation day per week. <laughs> you say per year. Oh. And then it's off to the tap mines to you. God, how long have we been bullying her at this point? Not this enough. This is going to 20 minutes now. <laughs> Listen, it's either that or I'm just going to carry you at arm's length for like my entire just- life. Yeah, do Which that. is very long. You have to give her like I one of those leashes. Not to be in a bottle. <laughs> you know those Fine. leashes. Do I have like a bucket? Drama, a bottle. You do have because there is a bucket. Um, unfortunately, that yeah, bucket is, is there still an empty food. bucket? Yeah, is there is there an empty bucket nearby? Um, I feel like there would be. You can look in the burning building. Yeah, sure. You, uh, there's one next to. There's a barrel next to the thing. There's a little bucket next to it. That you assume was you. Can I put I... this? Can I put this creature into the bucket? <laughs> you throw her into the bucket and kind of flops on the bottom. For the record, uh, oh, damn and it, put some water in it. Once, once Ephrael sees him pull out I this, like, I need water. Thing, I know. Once, once Ephrael sees him pull out this shrimp thing from the water, she realizes that. Uh, Unfortunately, when you're watered, you become travel sized, so you're just gonna have to deal with it. Which? What if she doesn't want to be travel sized? What if she? Walk. Is her uh, maintenance cal- uh, real question? Is her maintenance calories become lower when she's in that form, or does she still have to eat the same amount? You can ask Bray that. <laughs> it's probably lower. 
I figured it would be lower. Uh, no, she has to eat twice as much, because her metabolism's higher. Yeah, so you're gonna have to feed me. You got, you got Ooh. crustaceans looking at you right now. You get, <laughs> you have undersea creatures looking at you. I like to think that you're just, like, in the swamp, and you look you've around offended, and you just, You've like, offended the seahorse community. <laughs> So, you know in like swamps there's like a bunch of frogs I just imagine you're like what is happening and like you have no clue what's happening because you've never been in a swamp yeah I probably have never been in a swamp because the fact that she lived in the ocean what is with you she and just... writing characters that like the ocean <laughs> because I, mean... I like the ocean <laughs> under the sea under the sea <laughs> I just imagine. Put it in the drugs. Did you <laughs> plug your? Did you plug Tales of Panthera yet? No, you, you just should. did. Yeah, put that in the description, Dalton. Put Tales of Panthera in the description. Okay, sure. Go read Tales of what? What is it? I mean, Panthera. Panthera. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a great friend. I've never. Read send it. him. Send him the link. Oh, I, I uh, know what it is. I've looked at it. I okay. never. Yeah. Read. I ha Don't. It's in my socials. It, you just send just send the link to my in general socials. I oh. have everything there. You're welcome. If you've if you've been corrupted by the influence of AO3 and or Wattpad, <laughs> uh, go and give that a read. You'll probably <laughs> you'll probably make it your personality for the next three months and then forget about it per permanently. Yeah. <laughs> we like to have a lot of fun here on Delight and Deceit, but it's worth mentioning that this is no joke. If you or a loved one has been caught using AO3 or Wattpad recently, <laughs> please. It's important to sit them down. Please. Sit them, them. <laughs> sit them down in your car, drive to the local crematorium, <laughs> and and compress them into a diamond so that you can never forget them. Because you, you will always <laughs> treasure the time that you have with them on your finger. <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? I just came up with that. <laughs> Why do you say that was my thing? first reaction. <laughs> oh, He's gonna be like three hours long, and the episode's gonna be like one hour. <laughs> three hours? We're doing this until fucking like eleven, bro. Oh no! This recording's doing numbers. <laughs> oh. <man. laughs> There's gonna be so many. We're gonna fucking start a new blooper series with this. Oh my god. <laughs> This is why in the episode. pilot. This is why in the pilot I was told to restrain my whimsy. Yeah, I heard that. Me unchecked is. This is what happens. It's dangerous. Yes. <laughs> at, least, at least you haven't this is why I don't anything drive. This is that why is ridiculous yet. I think. Back to Isla being in, in a bucket. <laughs> yeah, you're in a bucket. It's gross and dirty. <laughs> Probably better than Can being in a bottle. She, um, can she try and escape said bucket? Or try to reason with Khaldun to let her out of said bucket? <laughs> no. If you're trying to speak, you can just speak and he'll decide. I, I, yeah, I'll say, you should probably deliberate, because I can be reasoned with. Un the, the Great Wall of China can be reasoned with, Taylor. But, well, it's really bad. well then, well then, let's, let's try that then. So... <laughs> Sir, I don't know your name yet. Um, I am Khaldun. I've never talked to your name. Well, Khaldun, may I please be let out of this bucket? I have a thing called legs on my own. I could walk. Please. Do you have a good reason to be let out? Yes. <laughs> I am helpful with explosives. But I can't do that in the water and in a shrimp form. That is even more of a reason to keep you in there. <laughs> Idle hands make for the devil's work. Please, please just let me out. I need to get out of this bucket. I don't want to be ten inches tall. Uh, Khaldun, Lucian will like look over to you and go, Hey, look, Vampy, I was all cool with like the killing and stuff, but the child kidnapping's kind of fucked. <laughs> 17. That is not a child. 
Vofi's gonna be like, hey, you can't say anything. Your best friend tried to eat a child. Yeah, please, can I leave this bucket? I will literally is walk. considered mature. Yes. In my culture, yes. I'm an adult. In, in most cultures. Yes. Hey, anything after in 12 is lunch. <laughs> Lucian will say, yeah, uh, that doesn't help, like, we can't kidnap an adult either, man. <sighs> Rush past I might be the size of a child, <laughs> but I need to get out of this bucket, please. Fine. Then nobody and then I, and then I scoop up, I scoop up this shrimp and then just sort of, like, toss it on the ground. <laughs> Back into the that mud. doesn't help. It's still I can't drop. I need to be dried off. <laughs> you can dry in the sun. <laughs> There's no sun! There's we no will sun. wait until sun happens, then. <laughs> Just Actually, wait. Hold on. Give me something. Anything. I'm going- Okay, fine. I'll stuff you into one of my pockets. <laughs> then I'm just gonna tear your pocket! That's fine. I, I get naked all the time. He does. He, he does. He gets naked all the time. I think it's happened oh. every episode. That's concerning. You're giving me a re you're giving me a means to an end. <laughs> Besides, if I feel you That's growing, I can just take you out. Hey, hey um, I have a question. Will Landon's dad possibly get naked all the time as well? No comment. No. No comment. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> the answer is no, he's too self sensitive. <laughs> So Anyways, so may may I be dried? He's very self conscious. Can I dry this creature? How do you with dry any this creature? surround? Or is there any fabric around? You have clothes. Wait, actually, technically, considering his height compared to, I technically fit properly in his pocket in my human form. Mm. Depending <laughs> on how big the pocket is. How big is your pocket, Landon? <laughs> <laughs> hey Landon, how do probably, those pockets go? Probably a bit bigger than my hands, which are pretty large. It, what, like one feet? Is it three feet of, of human? <laughs> no. Is it three feet tall? It's probably one foot. It could probably stretch to fit her for a little while. And then it just breaks. Yeah. It just breaks. You'd have to, like, cowboy walk around, though. I'm imagining if I, I put her in and it just... Like she comes out, but and her legs are still in it, but everything else is just dangling behind. Okay, is there? I feel like are, are there any un? Like are there any unburned? Are, are there any unburned linens around? Um, not that you can see. Okay, I'm just gonna stuff her in my pocket. Okay, I'm gonna well, head first or tail first, Landon. Does it matter? She's a yeah. fish. Yeah. Choose, choose one, please. For the head and the tail are the same. Shoes. Thing. Wait. Fine. Oh, head first. Um, I wear no head, shoes. Head first, so that your dogs can come out whenever you grow. <laughs> I wear no shoes. <laughs> so that I have two convenient handlebars to pull you out of my pocket with. Like a bicycle. <laughs> you get stuck. Oh, like in his a wheelbarrow. Pocket. And as you like, as his hand is going down, it wipes the water and the liquid off of you, and you expand back into your normal form. And your head is still in this pocket, while the rest of you is just dangling <laughs> out. Can I pull her out exactly now? What I was she just looks like Kenny. Okay. I like to think that she's like muffling, like screaming, and it just sounds like Kenny from South Park. And she's like, Whoa, what? you <laughs> grab her, <laughs> just, like picking a turnip. Absolutely. Yeah. Now twenty plus five. Shake the fuck up, boy. Is that better, May little one? Be... Thank you. Be grateful. Anyways, I feel like Isla, after she gets like put down, her like just trying to fix herself, like she's just like kind of primping herself because I feel like Isla is the type of person to do that. <laughs> And then she, and she's saying, uh, she says, while well, she does it, she says, thank you. Very sarcastically. Be more thankful. <laughs> I can always shove you back into the water. I'm good. 
I'm good. That is what I thought. I'd like to imagine that while she was Come in the water- Come with little creature, you amuse me. Let it shut up. Anyway, I, while she was in the water, like a- Sorry. Why do I feel like that Isla would just kind of, now from now on, she kind of just follows him? Like, she trails behind him. Companion obtained! Because she knows that she physically could not do anything to stop me. Pokemon! Wait, um, Dalton, can you go into Khaldun's character sheet and then add um, Isla as a pet? Oh, uh, that's okay, that's a little too much. <laughs> that's a little too much. You can add me as Maybe a companion. Later. Maybe later. But not a pet. Maybe I'm not a pet. In fish, in fish form, yes. In fish form, I guess, but I'm technically not a pet. <laughs> Oh, Stuff you in a bottle and shake the bottle around. How dare you? I have a strength <laughs> of 20. I could totally blend you up in a glass bottle. <laughs> like, yeah, no. I, I'm deafened to hear you say blend her up in a glass <laughs> bottle. I was deafened because I was untangling my headphones. And I undeafened <laughs> to hear you say that you will blend her up into a glass bottle. Is this correct, Landon <laughs> Gallardini? Sorry, don't I give said don't give him thing. the context. Dalton, can you cut out his context. last name? Yeah, sure. It's like that oh, one scene idea. from Nemo. Fishy. Oh no. <laughs> maybe <laughs> this is why Isla. Wait, maybe this is why Isla follows because she trusts him to protect her. But at the same time, she doesn't trust him in the sense that she might, if she makes him mad, she might die. <laughs> She can't run away. Oh, absolutely. No I could kill you in two safe. turns. <laughs> you could kill me. He kind of already kind of just, like, kept kept his, um, like, him as a person, just, like, his eye on her and, like, made sure she doesn't leave. Like, just try this, to escape. This like vampire. This, this vampire. Uh, you know what? I'm not going to finish my joke. The, the black-haired man, Kodan, goes and says, So, are we eating it, or... Because I'm hungry. No. Yeah. It amuses me. Um, I have a question, Dalton. Yo. So, you know how my clothes ripped, and then I had to put on my performing uniform, because it's the only thing I had? You did. did my you clothes on... rip last? You didn't. You put on leather armor, which they gave you. Oh. You, 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 um, and no, actually... Uh, if you're curious, Kodan will say, obviously we enchant the clothing we wear when we know we have to transform. What are you, stupid? You think Lucian would dare mess up his J's? Really? really? You're <laughs> crazy. J. Singular J. I'm just gonna look, I'm just gonna, like, look at Lucian and kind of just shake my head and be like, I really hoped that purple vest got ripped, but it didn't. Someone, someone clipped <laughs> one of Lucian's wings. It's at this point that Lucian will look down and say, my J's! What happened to my, my J? Can I cry a single solitary tear for one of his J's? <laughs> I would like to think that we... Was it in there? Is it still there? <laughs> I, I pat Lucian. I want to say I that Isla is no. just like staring and she's just like, what the heck? <laughs> hey Dalton, can I wait for him to run into the building before taking out his J? I, I pat Lucian on the back and say, it's okay, brother. We all lose a loved one in our life. I can't. I like to think he tries to run in there, and I just have to like grab him and be like, "No, friend. I know we're enemies, but you can't sacrifice yourself for the Jays. The drip isn't worth it." Oh, 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 oh! That reminds me. Uh, I noticed you lost a shoe earlier. Uh, I got it right uh, here. Here you go. You take out the J, and it's covered in like, <laughs> like mud so and shit because it was all down. This is down. almost worse. <laughs> and he takes out like a little little rag and just this is not creased <laughs> oh silver linings Lucian silver linings why do I want to say that Isla is kind of just uh, like she's trying to back away <laughs> it's just like I'm out of Can here I <laughs> Can I lock my gaze on Isla? <laughs> and then she just freezes. <laughs> uh, 
And she's like, please don't put me back in the bucket because she hate this. You're going to go in the bucket. Mm. I like how you cut out for 80% of that, but I still understood what yeah. you <laughs> Taylor, you have a real talent for cutting out, but still making Good. people understand what you're saying. Being able to articulate your words. Yeah. Yeah. I'm good at that. It's also because my mic is just crap. Mm. Uh, okay. Jesus Christ. Holy shit. This is, we are like... <laughs> two hours We're gonna be I have here. acquired a slave. <laughs> slave! Yeah, <Grab> me! <laughs> Achievement <laughs> unlocked. Get a slave. Yeah, that's an artistifer that loves explosives and is a fish. Could... The more the merrier. <laughs> oh dear God. This campaign's gonna be a long one. Or not this campaign. Yeah. Uh, this, session. this session is gonna be a long one. <laughs> I mean, so uh, is this campaign, but like... Eh, it might not be long. Eh, who knows. Uh, Kodon will look at you, uh, Kaldun, and say, do we explain the regicide to the child, or do we just not mention that? Because, like, we're still doing <laughs> I don't that. Remember. What? I don't remember what, what? he's talking about. Wow, you guys are, like, the worst hired help that I'm not paying ever. <laughs> <laughs> I sort of look at him, and I'm just like, what? You guys are the I'm worst just a guest here. Don't, don't get me. Ever met. Uh oh, the tile man's back. <laughs> <laughs> I like how the faster you move, the better your camera quality is. <laughs> He's gone. When you now. stand, when you stand still, your fucking camera gets data moshed. Anyway, anyway, you know the thing where I killed my grandma in front of you, and now we're going to kill someone in a position of power that I want so I can give you balls. Is that it? Hmm. Sounds vaguely familiar. I'm pretty sure the guy enforcing that was the frog that's dead, so it's not like it's a huge deal. Yeah, the frog that you killed. Eh, whatever. He was in the... Uh, am I good to, you know, go? He was French. <laughs> Ila says, hey, uh... I don't like my dinner to go. And then looks back. Um, I'm not dinner. Can right. I go? It's lunch. I so I slowly I'm not turn. Dinner. I'm not food. I slowly turn my head to Isla and say, "I will look you, amu at you. You, am <laughs> you amuse me." And then I go back to what I was doing. Lucian will look up at you. And Isla, say, why do I feel like? <laughs> Why wow, do I feel like I've never seen this level of emotion from you? Why do I feel like that if she keeps on getting threatened with food, she kind of just hides behind Kaldu and she's just like, Please. <laughs> Can I leave? <laughs> but don't kill me and don't put me in a bucket. <laughs> as long as you are amusing, I shall not put you back in prison. Thank you. You go into unfunny camp if you ever decide to be. <laughs> but as insurance. <laughs> unfunny camp. Is there a glass bottle nearby? She has trauma of glass bottles. No. <laughs> if there were, they were no. inside and they're all destroyed. Ah, uh, okay. I'll take the bucket with me then. Okay. And she has trauma of glass bottles as, now. As, as insurance. I will be taking the bucket with me. Isla looks at you in dread at that bucket. <laughs> do we clean the bucket, or do we keep it uncleaned as a... A deterrent? <laughs> it makes my... a way to make her just not want to be in it at all. It makes my form even more beautiful. <laughs> Am I gonna have to add a bucket to your character now? Yes. <laughs> Just like attached to one of your mini belts, just yeah. loop. Who has the highest just passive a bucket. perception? Actually, uh, definitely me. Let's see, my I passive like perception. I think I do. My passive perception is a seven. I'm sorry, it's eleven. 
Mine's 13. Mm, I'm the highest. It's like golf. I win. Mine's 12. Yeah. Mine's 11. Velvet, you do uh, know that after the old women were What's killed, a posse's? Uh, it's 11 or 12. I don't think it's that high. Okay. It's, it's not that high. It's <clears throat> 12. Um, Velvet, you know after... Uh, you did notice, obviously, that after the old women were slain, the fog cleared up. Um, and the, the air just seems a lot nicer. It's a lot more kind. And then you notice... Hmm. Yeah, there's something in this muck that's moving. The mud, it breathes. <laughs> and the mud gets a face, and it looks at me and says, Thank you for saving me! <laughs> <laughs> no, it doesn't. <laughs> the hills are alive! So now that the mud is alive, do I just, like, look at the mud and be like, um, do I just point- I'm just gonna point it out and be like, um, the mud is, like, moving? Um, the mud is, like, moving. <laughs> she went to do a, 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 um, what is it called? A valley girl, and she's just like, um, excuse me. <laughs> the mud is moving. I will kill you. Trust the hell. <sighs> also, you're crazy. Mud doesn't move. What are you talking about? I'm just gonna, like, who said that? Kodan says that. Um, I'm gonna grab Kodan by the back of the head and just, like, force his head to look down. <laughs> That's weird. He kicks it. <laughs> he, he kicks where the mud's moving, and his foot collides with something that is a little firmer than mud, but you still can't make it out because it's covered in mud. I'm gonna reach my hand down and, like, just grab it. You attempt to grab it, it's too th too thick for your hand. You can't get it apart. While you guys are doing this, I'm busy poking and prodding at Isla. I'm gonna take both of my hands. Can I I'm also go poke you. and prod? I'm also gonna go poke and prod. You are an interesting creature. I'm not poking with me. We have never seen your kind I'm... before. Um. That's because. Stop talking. None of your concern. <laughs> As you reach down and grab hold of this, uh, you, you do get a sense of its shape. It's very, uh, it's long, it's very thick, and it's, it's a, it's like a cylinder. And then you hear a voice say, Are they dead? Can I like, oh, can I like spin it? You can try, but it's like, you can't find where it ends. It just keeps going. Can I, like, shake it? Sure, you shake it. Does it say anything when I shake it? Why are you doing that? That's rude. Mm. Well, I'm trying to find your face. face. It's, it's an eight ball. <laughs> just answer the I'm question, really... mortal human thing. Yeah, they're... Um, yeah, they're dead. Really? The invaders are dead, that's good. Also, did you, did you burn the thing? Why is there fire? I didn't do it. It was the the second shortest thing. Do you know that it was me? I can assume. Considering can you, can... you saw Ephraim walk, I know it. And it set on fire. I know it. And, and leave. Yeah. And then leave. No. -uh. No. -uh. You don't know that. No. -uh. I do know that. Someone tried to put me out. No. -uh. <laughs> <laughs> Someone tried to put me out because they thought my hair was fire. I just like to think that when I said, like, pointed at FIL, you just see her just shaking her head, like, very, like, no, I didn't, no, I didn't. No. No. It's like the Looney Tunes, like, uh, like the 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 wood knocking sound effect, like the. <laughs> no, I didn't do it. You have no proof. I have proof. I was soaked. No. <laughs> you remember that time when you were taking a shower and your shampoo bottle fell on your foot and it hurt a lot? It was me. I was the soap. I saw it all go down. <laughs> the voice... Uh... When...
when you when you get drier, where does the water go? Exactly. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Honestly. You look smart. You should know. That's because I am, but I don't know that. <laughs> mm, I look smart. Mm. And things I read in books. Mm, Dunning-Kruger effect. You lot. know nothing. <laughs> <laughs> There's a difference. Since I was smart. Fun. Taylor is not. Caldoon's an expert in psychology. How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> you studied it in college. But anyways, uh, I go to a very high university. I know a lot of things, but I don't know that about water. Oh god! Because I don't know barely you. anything about myself. Quiet. Do you hear that? Hear what? Me, child. Exactly. Suddenly, suddenly, you hear the whistle. You hear the whistle edit of Josh Hutcherson in the background, like. I hear him say, "You hear that? Hear what? Exactly." And I'm like, oh, "No, I can't believe it. this one. This one gets it." Ah. Well, then. welcome to our welcome to our band of idiots. The voice goes cool. And I'm the only smart one. In all Got my years, no, I have no, never you are not. Creatures so unbelievably stupid. I am not one of them. Like you're literally an egg. With amongst but these, you, but you are a creature. I am a creature, but not of one you know of. I bet you Correct. Die all That's the why I'm poking and prodding at you. I'm gonna. If the egg thing insults us, I'm just gonna be like, I could literally play hacky sack with you. Shut up. You can't. Like, for the record, you cannot lift this thing. Like, you're thinking it's like pretty big egg size. You cannot find the front or the back of this thing. It's just a tube. <laughs> it's a tube? It's basically. That's the, the shape in, inside. It's a tube on the ground, basically. I've been asleep Bro. for a long time, the voice says. But I remember uh, humans being not this stupid in my time. I mean, you were stupid, but you're not this stupid. This is beyond the pale. I'm bad. Um, I am not one of them. I just I'm not one of them. Sorry, I was I'm, I was eating my fingers, and I realized that after around a hundred bites, the weird taste that I was tasting was actually bleach. <laughs> anyway, you all look the same like, to me. The voice says, but from a different location. What did I miss? That's rude. Is it like a male voice or like a female voice? It's feminine. It sounds feminine. What What did I miss? Like Does she sound hot? Okay. I'm not going to answer that. Moving on. Does she sound hot? I'm not going to answer that. Moving on. Does she sound hot? You're quite Shut the rude voice. voice. Rolling for cock size. You're quite rude voice. Stop. <laughs> what is it? What is it? What's your constitution modifier? I'm shut up. <laughs> cannot do this every anyway. time there's a new character introduced. We haven't done it once this session. That's, it shouldn't be a session now. thing. <laughs> there we go. No, we haven't done it at all in this campaign. We did it all last campaign. I hate all of you. We don't Ooh. talk about that. Yeah, that that didn't happen. None of that happened. Cut that part out. It's Cut all that gone. part out. <laughs> Anyways, no. years in the future. Years in the future, you can just suddenly hear a Weezer album. Oh, I remember Weezer. They were nice. <laughs> anyway, never mind. Back it up. Don't check the wall logs, please. <laughs> oh, only five. Damn. I have been stuck here for in my own home for years, awaiting the day that I finally get my revenge on those two, and you idiots show up and do it anyway, and honestly, I was hoping it would be a little more climatic and a little less crying over a dead rat. Is a posse going to keep crying? And maybe not rat, kidnapping me? Non-negotiable. Whenever Taylor isn't here, she's just gonna like go in the bucket. 
Or like in a bottle in Captain's inventory. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. <laughs> so revenge. It, take absolutely. She, yes. Whenever she's not here, she will cease to amuse me. I have a question for all of you. What <sighs> do you want? Um, I want to leave. I want to go home. Freedom. Food. <laughs> I'm hungry. Ephrael. Hmm? I want to leave being the prisoner. No. <laughs> that was a I little Isla looks at him in disgust. <laughs> <laughs> Isla looks at him I, in disgust. <laughs> I sort of I sort of pat you on the head. Do we have to roll anything to can I roll like to see if I know what this is? Yeah, roll. Um, what'd that be? Should we? Should we all do that? Yeah, what would that be actually? Uh, is it magic? Either yeah, either insight or arcana. Yeah, uh, yeah, whichever one's higher, insight or arcana. Mine are both the same. Insight plus. Oh, let's go! <laughs> I got a nat twenty. Nice. I got a nine. Twenty-one. Nice. A. Me and Ephrael got the same thing. Um, you realize at the same time that this voice, and you realize that what you've been gripping, this very long thing that you've been holding onto, is a neck. And it begins slithering back. That pulls up to reveal a head, almost like an exceptionally long serpent. And then... From the distance, another head rises, and another, and a fourth, and a fifth, until there are seven heads looking at you. Oh, are they oh. human heads? No. Serpent. Is this a hydra? I'm sorry, serpent. Talton, when you did that, when you did that, your hands data moshed into the background. <laughs> <laughs> I searched up hydra, and it showed up the genus, and I'm very confused. A hydra is a multi-headed snake. <laughs> I know, but I looked it up and it... Never mind. And you are well enough to know that Hydras are almost always incredibly evil and violent. Can I, like... Never mind. I'm not gonna finish my thought. I get banned. So Banned on Twitch. The main head looks at you and says, So you come here, kill two witches for nothing? To do nothing? Why are you here? What do you do? Um, we came here to find a small child. We kidnap people. Regicide. We came here to find a small child, but it kind of got burned in the fire, so now we we're trying to leave, but we found this tiny little that. swamp you thing. You don't know the kid's dead. I can smell the burning flesh. No, you can't. No, um, can't. Should have rolled better on perception. Because you didn't. I rolled a 21. No, you didn't. Should have been you born don't know that. Yeah, you don't know that kid's dead. <laughs> We came here looking for a child, but we found a different child. Yeah, better we child. Can... Found, we found a better child. And I'm not a child! Again, I'm not a child. Compared to me, you are a child. I'm 17, and in I'm my 74. culture, I'm an adult. I am 74. Grandpa, please call him Grandpa. You're both wrong. Grandpa. You're dead. I am fine with this. Do we have to roll initiative? Not yet. I shall call you my no. daughter. Unless you plan on attacking. <laughs> I do please, not. No. Okay. <laughs> this is a Hydra. I don't think we can handle a Hydra right after what we handle without any long rest whatsoever. <laughs> oh, wait, I forgot that a posse's on four health. Yeah. yeah. I sort of, I sort of glance over. At what they're dealing with, I see a snake thing with multiple heads, and I'm like, I don't care. <laughs> what will Raggy? And then I keep poking and prodding at Isla. Isla literally turns, looks in the same direction, and freaks out because she's never seen whatever the heck that thing is. <laughs> you see, that's the reaction I normally get. You things are freaks. Why do you start a little one? 
Because it's a Hydra. <laughs> Those... Do you know it's a Hydra? They are fine. Sneak. No! I don't... Oh, those are fine. But by the guess of many heads, probably, yeah. Snakes are friendly. Not for Taylor's... me, from... Taylor's aren't mm. food, they're friendly. Are there snakes underwater? Aren't those called evil? Kind you don't want to know. I think they're called sea snakes. I see. Oh, I, no. I, do, I know. I know that. I'm. I'm asking in character. A kind you don't want to oh, know. Oh, sea snakes are into eels. I forgot about. I don't that. feel like my character would know what sea snakes are. No, I, I was trying to game. Yeah. Anyways, Isla then proceeds to try and run away because of the fact that kill or eaten. One of the heads shoots outside and, like, in a in a curve, surrounds you. And said, oh no, was I, would then... I decide when we're done. What is the, I where is the yeah, main head? Out. <laughs> yeah, I figured that would happen. Where is the main head? Would... <laughs> there is no main head. There is a main head. Dalton said there was a main head. Well, the, main, the one you were saying, well, because the, that has been talking to you. There is a head that has primarily been speaking to you. But the other ones have talked to you. But the one yeah, that... hi, I... is... Anyway. Anyways, I, I, I look, begin to freak out. <laughs> I sort of look at Isla and I just make a little somewhat dissatisfied grunt. And then I walk over to uh, Ephrael. Isla then also proceeds to oh. uh, like plead for oh. uh, Keltune to help her. <laughs> now that she realizes... <laughs> what? She bleeds no, can, I try to, oh. can I try to bargain my way out of this? What do you attempt to bargain? I, I, hold, I, I look back at Isla and I'm just like, one moment. And then I, I turn oh. back to Ephrael and I, and I go, Little one, you see good and evil, yes? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Do that. I require <laughs> information. Okay. I am going to see if I can do that. Hang on, let me just... Uh, do, 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 Divine do, sense. Do, do, do. Divine <laughs> sense. I am going to use an action to detect good and evil within 60 feet of me. Okay. What do you see, little one? You know the location of any celestial fiend undead within 60 feet. That's not until recover. So, um... You don't really pick up on much of anything. But you know, that's the dumb way that is. So I'll say there's this intense evil radiating, radiating off of Khaldun, as usual. You've gotten used to this. And there's this, this Noxus absolute evil perpetuating from this Hydra. This thing is bad news. <laughs> ah. About what I expected. Good. And then I, and then I walk up to it and I, uh, I, I will attempt to bargain with it. Finally, one what? of you has sense. I, I literally, uh, I literally, uh. Well, he's talking to one head, you're talking to a different one. <laughs> so, how do you two try to bargain with this thing? Alright, Braylon's on the phone, so Khaldun, you're up first. I would, okay. Can I, uh, can I roll insight to s check how old this thing is? Sure. If I can guess. Where's insight? Seventeen. Ooh, that's really good. This thing is ancient. It has been here for a long time. Moss has begun growing off of its like uh, down its thing, almost like it has hair of just moss. It's very gross. It's very old. Its eyes gleam with the wisdom of one who has survived many battles. Um, good, even better. <laughs> I'm going to scare the shit out of this thing, from what I'm guessing. <clears throat> I'm gonna play the zero card. Oh, <laughs> I am going to look this thing directly in the eyes, and I'm going to invoke Zero's name in Infernal. It looks at you, and it says, How are you related to that being? 
I am his son. Mm. One of his sons. And how is the old goat these days? Mm, <laughs> megalomaniacal as usual. Mm. Oh. Thought you were gonna say megalovania. Fuck me. <laughs> he must have changed sometime in the last six hundred years. I mean, he mm, always had an indeed. ego, but he wasn't. I wouldn't particularly call him maniacal. He's become more deranged over the years. Mm. Understand. I fear that if you, I fear that if you do anything to us, he may come for you. Hmm. Do I fear retribution from that man? That's a good question. Time for what I think the better one would be. Would he actually care if I killed you? Yeah. He has been sending his grunts over uh, to chase me for 60 years at this point. Why? I do not know. He's hungry for the nummies. Although I may have an idea of why. And then I unsheathe my sword. The Hydra sniffs it. It, says, it reeks of dark magic. It's clearly no hmm. normal blade. Hmm. We this have was no given shit. to my mother from zero. <laughs> That fucking weeb. Do I know that he's conversing I, with it? Or does it look like to me that he's like trying to intimidate this thing? I will not comment on that. I assume you can hear it. So yeah, you know he is. And then we'll slide I'm just gonna over. Be... Uh, are you attempting to bargain with the other head? Me? Yes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask you like, um, is there anything I can do to like let you leave us alone. We're truly just trying to get out of here. I could use some help. <laughs> so you see a big snake and immediately assume it's bad news? Wow, that's some pretty bigoted shit, kid. <laughs> well... <laughs> <laughs> just hearing Taylor! 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 Taylor. Taylor. Taylor's leaving. Anyway, I just oh, imagine. That, that's rude. Get back here, young woman. You dare. <laughs> you dare, <laughs> you dare, me, you dare scurry off. I know where you live. <laughs> anyway, I just like to imagine Vofi's like, oh, you kind of just blocked one of us from leaving, and then, you know. You don't run out of it's just, conversation, you know, that's rude. Well, what do you want to converse about? Wise one? <laughs> well, now you're just playing to my ego. And it's working! <laughs> oh no! Why am I trying- harder! <laughs> Why am I rising up a dragon? I thought this was what not you wanted! Time. This isn't the dragon I wanted! She's not playing bard right now, don't- this isn't okay! <laughs> And she's close. Ah, fair. And I mean, this thing isn't a dragon, but it's close to a dragon. If you're close to a bard and close to a dragon, it's basically a bard and a dragon. Mm. A dragon. A dragon, these nuts on your face. I'm sorry. Hey, Braylon, I'm going to go over to your... You, I'm going... I'm going, to, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to do some maniacal things once I see you. Mom. Anyway, um, so what do you want to talk about, Dragon? Do you have a name? <laughs> Bless you. Do you have a name? <laughs> wow, how could you just show that hand signal again? This is just so enough. Why would you do that? that? Why well, well, I should just be a Christian lady. Yes, I should just be a Christian. Well, how could you show me only your middle finger on your camera? Oh. That is not oh. acceptable. Anyway, oh, that's not acceptable. Oh, I can do it again. <gasps> oh. Anyways. Oh no. Oh my goodness. Why did we kick Taylor? Decent exposure. 
<laughs> Ten thousand years of death. Oh no, she's going, she can't she's join back. Going in the yeah, bucket. I know. <laughs> uh, tell her to join another VC. And then we can force Hold her. On. We can force her to script her. I can just shove her back in here. <laughs> oh my god. Um, does this thing have a name or is it ever going to respond to me? Does it have a gender? It doesn't have a kiosk. You guys were... what, what are your pronouns? <laughs> My name is Ovira. We Ovira? Are legion. Okay. <laughs> no. no, I changed the permissions. Oh, did you? Okay. Join. Anyway. I just pulled her in here. Alright, there we go. Cool. Same as Ovira. You dare show oh, that indecent, yeah. indecent uh, figure. What the fuck? I, I have not been looking at the like call for it. like a minute, so I don't know what else. Oh yeah, you like the... Um, the... Say that band the sins of time. Nice. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway. <clears throat> Hold on, let me look at the lore. You like the femboy it... pride flag? Wait, 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 okay, wait, Ovira isn't a god. No, Ovira is a demon. Smexy. Wait, I'm a demon. Not really. Demon to demon communication. <laughs> demon to demon conversation. Uh, that, is, I... that is technically what I've been doing this whole time. Can I just like... Can I like a cool handshake with it? It looks at you and just goes... I have no hands. You offensive fuck. <laughs> I just have hands. No, they aren't. You can do like a fist bump with one of your heads. Oh, right, I'm not. They have hands. Here. Somewhere. Maybe. Unless it's like an armless Hydra for some reason. No, or is have, it an armless Hydra? They have feet, but they don't have hands. And also, you can't see its body. You can just see its heads right now. Can I like... Can I like offer my fist as a fist bump? Like... Fist head bump. One of the heads will like shoot out and just like. Bing. <laughs> I still want to mention that, by the way, Isla is still trapped. Wolfie has not I'm noticed. Attempt, I'm attempting not notice. to deal with it. <laughs> I'm facing the opposite direction in my mind. In my mind, it's me, uh, me and Calvin are like back to back. If I was just. Probably jumping around using the Hydra as a slide. Catching. It's like catching dra like, like dra dragonflies. A posse is like in the depths of despair. I right now I am currently like in the corner rolling mud balls and trying to stack them on each other. I yeah, was in the fetal position. <laughs> and then the other two are probably like. Kissing or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> oh, yeah. Homoerotic wolf sex. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that's for the Clayton episode. We're saving yeah, that's for the that's for, that's for the Clayton canto. Um. <laughs> Jesus Christ. This is, this is gonna mess. Okay. Uh, the head looks at you and says, Fuck, what were we talking about? That was one. <laughs> I, really I don't even remember what they were talking about. Um, I was asking for the name and what they want to talk about. Well, I mean, how dare you assume I want to talk to someone like you? Just because I've been alone here well, for hundreds of years. I don't, I'm not, not lonely. Well, you kind of started wiggling in the ground and you came out and then asked why I was here and then I gave you an answer and then you wouldn't let me leave because you assumed that I were you were evil. So I kind of assumed you wanted to talk. Well, d don't assume that, okay? 600 years of not being able to move makes you want to move around and, you know, I just needed to get information out of you. Don't, don't, how do you I, I just wanted to wiggle waggle a little bit, you know? Um, okay. Then that's still... Asking you what you want to talk about if you need information. I got That's kind of how this works. I got the information I need, which is that the wishes are dead and you t and you all are total fucking idiots. Okay, then why can't I'm not, we leave? 
because I'm deliberating on whether or not I want to eat you because I haven't eaten in 600 years. Um, I sacrificed the tall one. I won't taste good. You see, I have like fish. Like, I kind of like taste like fish. Because, you know, that being on the whole me. The other one is a fish. What? You see, I, I smell like fish. That one is a fish. Why don't we just give you the big one? Well, the big one has recently informed me that it's probably not a good idea to eat him. Well, it's not a good idea to eat me either. For what reason? I don't think I would taste very good. And I'm not... I'm kind of You fit, would gain her personality you know? like Kirby. It'd be awful. Trust me. <laughs> exactly. The head squints its eyes and says, Do you really think after 600 years I'm picky about my food? Yes. Oh, yeah, you no, seem like a. I turn. I turn, like a... I turn over to. I, I turn over to um, Velfi and I say, <coughs> "You do know snake eat things whole, correct?" I don't know why my first thought was to say hot, but that's not what I want my character to say. <laughs> this snake is ancient. It will eat virtually anything that moves. Um, I'm just gonna be like, right, get us correct. Out of here. And I turn over. I turn over to the snake and I say, "Correct." Correct. One of the one of the snakes in the back that's been quiet this long time goes, "I got a wicked case of the munchies." <laughs> we'll deal with that. I'm gonna be like, so if we help you find food, will you let us go? It looks at you and it says, "You think I need help finding food? Do you think I do you think I need you?" I think I need you for anything? Do you assume the great Ovi well, is so weak that she would rely on a pathetic little tiefling like you or any of your foolish, incompetent, ridiculous friends? Well, yeah, because you kind of want to eat us, which is using us I'm for no friend. Uh, Isla. Isla. Um, <laughs> well, just gonna be like, well, you kind of need us for one thing because you kind of want to. And then eat I, us. I, I, I menacingly hold up the bucket. Us. <laughs> Please, not the bucket. Never mind. I'm. That's I'm not what I thought. Out. Daddy's talking. I I <laughs> Excuse me. The adults are talking. I am an adult. You are a child compared to me. I don't care. Can you just get me out of this? You're I'm both trapped. children. Would you I shut am the fuck working up? on it. <laughs> Velfi's yeah, just like shaking. Welcome, Velfi. Can't shake your head. <laughs> I'll bring over to a table I've crafted of mud. As as soon as she starts yelling, I go, "Yes, mommy." <laughs> I have been. Stopping. Velfi's just gonna be like, I'm "Back listening. to our conversation." Compare. I have been stuck listening. To those two idiots for the last I don't know how many years since they moved in and the last ones died or moved out or whatever the hell happened but that was preferable to listening to you idiots talk how have you got I'm apologize this is about our ages how did you idiots get this far I don't know how I they got this far okay I was here I've been here I've been trapped in a bottle for who knows how long. Isla has an excuse. We do not. I was looking for a child. Well, there are no children here. So I don't even know how you don't know that I existed. Because I've been here. In a Isla, would you prefer Isla, would you prefer if I just left you there? No. In the bottle? No. <laughs> or else I would have burned because of someone. Then be grateful. I like to think that this uh, this conversation is a lot more menacing because the building is on fire. <laughs> yes. What was the demon's name again? Overa. Overa. Okay. Mm -hmm. I need to mark that down somewhere. So, um, Daltoni. Yo. Um, back to. 
the actual point of this, um, I'm going to be like, do you just want to eat us or can we go? I'm still deliberating. I'm going to need you to hurry up. Frankly, I I will. Uh, You've kind of done a good job because I'm worried about catching whatever you have clearly caught because there's only that's the only explanation for how creatures as foolish as you can exist. I know I've been out of the game for a while, like, but I feel like humans were smarter six that six hundred years ago. I'm gonna be like, well, hey, I don't, I don't, I don't, and I'm not a human. Well, None of us are human. You all look the same to me. I'm gonna be like, we hey, are all, I'm not the same as them. I. I assume they refer to humanoid races. Yeah, the weak ones. You must have had a variety of followers at some point, yes? I did okay. I see. I believe we can help each other. How did you get caught here? Betrayal. Also, yes. Also, yes, I was going to ask that at some point. How How did you get caught here? Were the, I have a question. Were those dead bodies hanging on the forest to keep you in here? She, she hears you say that and she looks at you and says, Are they gone? Um, I may or may not. Well, somebody here, she's going to, Vilf is going to point at FRO and just be like, That yeah, one over gone. there knocked them down. Yeah, they're gone. What is your name, child? Ifrail. You do a credit. To, you are clearly the wisest of your people. <laughs> That's not a good thing. No. No. A true champion really? amongst the best. You tried to put kind. me out. <laughs> I'm a <laughs> One head snap. Don't speak to the champion that way. They thought it was on fire. Isla. (laughs) (laughs) Can I offer the dragon something or the hydra? What do you want to offer? I'm going to ask the hydra if. Oh no. Oh, never mind. But, okay, never mind. I thought I read something that Clayton sent me, and I thought it said, "Do you, can I join the D and D?" And I was like, "Hold on, wait." A, a worthy sacrifice is approached. His <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. character gets introduced and immediately gets eaten. I was gonna, I was gonna say, how about we? We help each other. You be our I protection, hope- <laughs> and we help get you anywhere you want. Fun- okay, funnily enough, I was about to propose something similar. <laughs> you see, you here will be our help, and we will help you in any way you want. Hmm. You- <laughs> the head kind of looks at you, and is like, and he turns back to Ifrael and just goes, You have done me a great service this day, champion. When when my worship begins again and my followers bread, you will be in my mythos. You will be the champion of Ovira. I thank you. Where are you trying to go? Isla looking in disgust. I'm I'm gonna have to think. Ifrael is going to uh, be just like, hmm, hmm, and she's going to ask Kodon where, which direction is to where we were trying to head. What? Hold on. Uh, what was the what was the demon's name again? Fuck. Ovira. Uh, oh, oh, how do you spell that? It is O V E R A. O V I R A. Oh, is that is it? Okay. Ovira. No, there is. Oi! Oi, bruv! Oi, Vera! Oi, Vera! Oi, bruv! Oi! Oi, bruv! Oi, Vera. Oi, Vera. Oi, Vera. Oi, Vera. Oi Vera. She's just aggressively Brooklyn. Oh, I'm walking here! What does is, what is Kodan tell her? 
Karan looks back Mitch. and is just like, oh, I've been avoiding all of this because we're going west. I'm I going just to turn back ride to the Hydra and I'm going to be like, West! Of course. And the Hydra backs up slightly. Steve, is your nose bleeding? Uh, no, I just have like a really bad, uh, what's it called? Cold right now, so I have to... And the Hydra... I have like an yeah. entire paper towel roll right here to blow my nose with. Begins drinking from the muddy water. Just that's right like around the ground. Until it's mouth and throat are full and it it turns west and spits it out as forcefully as possible and it just destroys the trees going that way <laughs> and it looks we've like unlocked fast travel boys I the <laughs> champion. we finally found the lord vessel <laughs> isla looks in shock <laughs> and terrified yay <laughs> isla i hope you realize that this is a normalcy in our group and I am going to uh, kind of just trot down the path. Now it is. Thank you. Of course. Anytime. We look forward to explosives when I get the chance to be near them. Oh, we had a guy who was interested in explosive once. <laughs> He's not dumb. with us anymore. I have a dumb question. Yeah. Do you think the disguise kit will work on the Hydra? Wait. No. Isla, Aww. are you French? Am I what? Are you French? I don't know what that is. You're good. God. I don't know if you know what that what I'm referring to, but <laughs> No. Uh, we had a frog man named Jacques with us who was who also oh, made bombs, um... and he is he is now dead. <laughs> His name wasn't Jacques. It's just... it's Jacques. I I I'm not going to give the French the time of day. Be grateful, O oh, timid one, for you are the spiritual successor to our greatest and most honorable warrior. Unfortunately, he was French, so we stripped him of all of his medals. Post mortem. <laughs> to be recycled oh, elsewhere for more honorable warriors with better bloodlines. <laughs> <laughs> and whiter skin. Also whiter skin. Jesus Christ. Oh, well, I'm not what you call French. I'm, uh, murder. Um, I don't know if you know You'll I'm fit right in. You'll fit right in. You know what that is. You'll fit right in. Are we leaving in. the Hydra now? Um... The uh, the hydro look in here and says, "Go west, champion." <laughs> and may your, may may your hammer strike true, you wise champion, the wisest of your no. kind. Because she gave me a blessing, uh, can I please get a plus one to hit on my hammer? <laughs> the hydro <laughs> the hydro looks at you and says, "Offer up your weapon." Okay. The hydro swallows your hammer. <laughs> Cool. Hollow Knight type shit. Hollow Knight type shit. <laughs> it throws up your hammer again, and it's now radiating with a, a new kind of power. I would Ooh. love I would love it if he used Divine Sense and he found out that his weapon is now evil. <laughs> <laughs> it probably is. I'm fine with that. <laughs> you got complimented, that's fine. <laughs> evil is fine as long as you get complimented <laughs> along the way. Yeah. So, uh, what did that do to my hammer? Uh, Can you give him, like, a plus one hammer? Yeah. Or whatever. It'll be, it'll be a plus one now. And it might have some stuff later, but not right now. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Inventory. I'll manage my inventory and add a plus one war hammer and get rid of my old one. Cool. Okay. Would, it, would, would it be possible for me to privately speak with, uh, with, the, with the snake? Of course. Okay. I'm gonna uh I'm gonna go to one of the heads that are at like the back. Yeah. And I'm going to whisper to it. Uh Would you like me to help you reinstate your followers? Yes, and I know exactly how you can help if you're up to a certain job I have. I am, but in return I wish for a favor later on down the line. If you can you see this favor for me, I will gladly help you. 
you see, I do not like my father. And I am... Let's just say that I am willing to do many people's bidding in order to get their favor on my side so that they may help me in my future battle. What do you mean, my father? I've got daddy issues. <laughs> I have daddy issues. <laughs> I, in fact, hate my father. I, I plan to assemble, not to say an army, but a militia of demons to help me. Well, then I know exactly I, who you need to talk to, my friend. Friend of the champion, I mean. You're not my friend. You're lower than dirt to me. I shall also spread word of the champion. Yes, spread word of the champion, of course. But I do know of another powerful ally you need to add to your little militia, as you put it. Tell me what I must do. He sits in an undersea crypt to the west. He, there was once okay. a time when we ruled together, the three of us. He was always the strongest among us. If you can find him, you, he, he is, he is, he is not locked in this crypt unwillingly. He chose to isolate himself to study and to learn to battle even more ferociously. After hundreds, if not thousands of years of training, he will be your best weapon. I see. Do you know approximately where this is? Maybe a name of a place? Hmm. Or has it been too long? 600 years. I, I, I don't know, man. <laughs> that knowledge is outside. That of is fair. Area. That is fair. Thank was... you for the help. What? What's the primitive... What's, what are they called? The primitive little wood things that you... You, you, you humans use. The... What are they called? Boats! Boats! Yes, boats. Before it was about a seven-day sail west off the coast to reach approximately where it was. I, have boats gotten faster? I haven't been around for 600 years. They probably have. Probably slightly faster. Do you know what a sail is? Explain. Sails are used on boats to use the wind to make them fly fast, faster across the water. Fascinating. Well, I think on it. Well, there's other things other than a sailboat. You know, now we have engine boats, like propellers. Do we? Uh, do we? <laughs> yes, my character worked on a cruise ship. Technology oh. is is enough. I I don't, I don't know that. My character also can that. craft. Things, so she yeah, I, 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 I don't know this. Yeah. I can tell well, I mean, Taylor really, has a really shotgun, fast. so I hope so. If you're wondering what shotgun. the technology level is in this world, it's um, Magitech, I guess, kind of. It's enough to where guns exist, but they're not widespread, and the engine's been invented, but very few things really use it. Well, yeah, I'm just gonna be like, well, I work on a cruise ship. And it's, like, all automatic and stuff. I really don't know how it works, but it works. An ignorant human. What a surprise. Um, I wasn't really allowed to go down there. They kind of kept me in, like, a cell, but it's fine. Where you belong. That's racist. I, I Dalton, Dalton, if you're wondering what I'm doing right now, I'm currently writing no down notes of everything <laughs> that is to do with demons. <laughs> nice. Like a notebook of sorts. Are we leaving? I'm gonna like turn to everyone and be like, "Are we leaving now, or do we have any more questions for our friend here?" I want to leave. Gabriel, <laughs> I'm I'm already walking. <laughs> <laughs> no, already so gone. Amazing. Already off to the next adventure. I've truly <laughs> chosen the greatest of champions. You! And she'll look at you, Calden. Servant of the champion, go! Go forth! How may I contact you again if I ever wish so? Oh. 
and she spits out. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, I love doing vomiting noises. They're very fun. Uh, I th- that was very accurate, actually. That was that's pretty cool. Thank you. Uh, spells out a small. Um, uh, I don't want to say it's an orb because there's been too many orbs in this campaign. <laughs> We'll say it's a just like a stone. Yeah, it's just it's a smooth egg like a like stone. a like basically like a gallbladder, like, basically like a fucking like uh sinus or not a sinus stone, but a uh, what am I thinking of? A uh, tonsil stone. Yeah, sure. <laughs> you can use that. Thank you. Okay, it seems like the D and D website doesn't it like me. Well, uh, Dalton? I want to say that, uh, because the fact that I've not technically made Isla move, she's just standing. <laughs> she's just, like, standing. <laughs> Waiting. <laughs> I- I'm gonna walk towards Isla and say, I have made my deal. Come, little one. Hey, uh, Dalton? Yo. Completely unrelated question, but, uh, Out of respect, I... this time I shall not grab you by your clothes. If I were to hypothetically roll 1,000 D100s on the D&D Beyond website, about how long would that take to load? What? What the fuck did you do? <laughs> what have you done? I, Gabe. I'm rolling 1,000 Gabe. D100s. Yeah. I don't know what... Yeah, what's up? The, I've... Oh, and something went wrong with the webpage. Okay. Looks like Crash. looks like the game didn't really like that. <laughs> yeah, shocker. Predictably. Let's see if I can roll twenty. Oh yes, I can. Jesus Christ. Hey, does a one hundred seventy five hit? <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> anyway, I do warn you though. He can be a little. Intense when you meet him. I see. And what about the third of your group? Well, that's a little trickier. I haven't seen her in... She disappeared before I was imprisoned. So I'm not even sure where she would be now. I will do... More of an elusive one? Yes. If you find Ah, any information about her, I, I wouldn't mind knowing... I will conduct my... Do you remember their name? (laughs) Cruzies... Fuck. Yeah, that's a... Yeah. (laughs) Just... I'm sorry. I just realized what that fucking name was and I'm changing it immediately. Hold on. (laughs) Wait, what? Uh, It was... What are we talking about? It, for some reason, I, I wrote it down <laughs> and then I read it aloud for the first time and I realized it just sounds like a mixture of the games <laughs> like Uzma and Kronk and now it's not going to be a name. <laughs> Uzmonk. Uzma. Nuvain. What? Nuvain. Uh, can you spell that? <laughs> M-U- no, keep going. See if you can get it. I assume it's just N U V E I N. No. Uh, yeah. Okay. New Bay. Okay. Um, can I look? Where's the one that gave me a fist bump? Or <laughs> head fist bump? It's currently. It's. It's also the one that said I got a serious case of the munchies, and it's currently gnawing on a tree. <clears throat> can I like? Can I imagine I, like, since I imagine I imagine the mouth doesn't have teeth, so it's just like gumming at the. <laughs> can I take one of just, my moon-shaped hairpins and offer it to him? Shiny. It, it sticks. Can, I, can out, I do that? Wraps around it and sw- and and takes it into its mouth. Can I give it a head pat? Sure. And one final thing. Yes. The name of the intense one that you mentioned. Ah. He's no... He's no... Uh, <clears throat> Run. His name is Ow Run. Ow Run? No. Ow Run. It's two names. <laughs> I 
right, and then I close my uh, diegetic journal. <laughs> that you have. <laughs> totally. I can't wait for the Caldoon <laughs> Investigative Journalism Orc. Yeah, I, I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna keep a grimoire of demons at this point. <laughs> This is this is new lore. New new Khaldun lore just dropped. I'm making an army, <laughs> and you cannot. I'm making fucking mac and cheese, and zero cannot stop me. <laughs> oh my god! All right, I I sort of like bow to the head, and then I uh, take my leave. As you leave, all heads. Slick back into the mud, disappear, and you can just hear the sounds of a, of a large creature moving east away from you. Can I put a journal in my inventory? Yeah, sure. Just I like want to say, as they're walking, when that happens, Eyelid quickly turns and looks, and then she just keeps going. <laughs> <laughs> like walking away from the party. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Trying to escape again. <laughs> Do we have to roll a perception check? No. Isla has to roll a stealth check. A what? A stealth. <laughs> a stealth. And then that has to go up against your Wait, own what is she doing? perceptions. She's trying to sneak off. Oh. So just click the stealth button. <laughs> 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 Does Gabriel hit with the 5,259? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, yeah, do I? Five. Wow, I yeah. Five. <laughs> well, um, Perception beats that, so everyone knows. Like, you lift a foot up and you put it down, just like, like the squelching noise of walking through mud. And, just... and we're just like, I imagine there's a chase scene between Caldoon and it's like Tom and Jerry. I don't know. I, what's the? Is it uh? It's Malcolm in the Middle. I don't, you guys have probably never seen it, but the scene where the dad like turns to the kid and the background just goes black. That's Caldoon. <laughs> Basically. Um. Don't have a question. Hey, Does uh, Gabriel hit with a 9,788? Yeah, uh, quick question. <laughs> oh, what? was I like trying to sneak away from me? Yes. Yes. Huh? She's trying to sneak away from you. How many times must I teach you this lesson? <laughs> no, I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't, <laughs> I don't like that. <laughs> what does that mean? I gesture towards the bucket. No, not the bucket. <laughs> I like. I like slightly open my pocket, and you see like a glimmer of water. No, <laughs> Lucian looks back. And goes, you, you don't it? want the bucket, man. I've seen what that shit can do to you. <laughs> you don't want to get. You don't want to get in that brain eating amoeba, Zaza. <laughs> I'm good. I don't want the bucket. I'm good. This attitude gonna put you back in the primordial soup, fishy boy. I'm not a boy, but I am fish. I um, will make you into a boy. I'm good. We making it out of central Louisiana with this one. I'm good. Oh, gotcha. Um, construction surgery. I'm gonna walk over to the tiefling. Away from you. Goodbye. You will be walking ahead of me. I just like, like I just offer my hand up, like, "Hi, I'm Velfi." Hi, please protect me. I'll try okay. my best. But I'm also scared of him, so I don't know how well I can do. Please just make sure he doesn't put me in that bucket. I'll try my best. Thank you. And so the group begin walking west into the sunset to be continued. <laughs> Holy.